Good morning. I'm working from home and I don't know if I'm going to be working from home all day or if I am going to just do it this morning. Um, there are some things I can't do from home so it may be that by lunchtime I, I run out of things to genuinely be able to get on with in which case I'll either take this afternoon sick or annual leave um, but I'll see how it goes. I am struggling a little bit like my brain feels fuzzy um, but it's nice to just be at home sitting at the kitchen table um, and knowing that I am near to the bathroom and don't have to worry about sort of wearing jeans and stuff. I mean, I don't, I could wear a dress or something, but then I'd have to wear tights and that would be tight around my tummy. And at the moment, my tummy's just uncomfortable. Um, yeah, so I'm just having my second cup of tea of the day. It's about half past nine. And Dan is upstairs working. He's, he's in meetings, so he's upstairs and... I don't have any meetings, so I don't need to worry about that. And Phoebe is up and mooching about somewhere. The cat is here somewhere as well. My vlog yesterday went up really late. I didn't get it up until about half past ten at night. But I was pleased that I still got it up on the day. It because, Especially at this time in the month, where it's like, so what was yesterday? Yesterday was day 26. So by this point, I'm like... I can do it, I can get that, it's like a little personal challenge now, I can definitely do it. And I don't feel like it's a hardship to be editing and uploading vlogs when I'm feeling a bit grotty. In fact, it's quite nice because it gives me a focus and it gives me something to distract myself. And it means, I mean, the whole point of doing the vlogs and like even this channel, when I first started this channel, was about um, honing in on the things that are enjoyable about life and the good things and the little moments of joy and and using the channel as a way to focus on those bits and yes obviously my vlogs have kind of you know include a lot of real life and it's not always wonderful but that is real life uh, but yeah the vlogs give me a focus on for example filming one of my favorite mugs and favorite expressions <laughs> and you know some nice biscuits that were a gift from lovely Linda. Hello Linda in Ellen, up in Aberdeenshire. Um, sent me some Bucky's biscuits, which I love. I love Bucky's biscuits. And some butteries actually, or otherwise known as Rowies, which were in the freezer. Oh, I could have had one of those for breakfast this morning. Forgot about that. Should have had that instead of my cereal. Oh, well, I'll have one tomorrow. But yeah, little things like that. It helps. It helps to focus on the good things, doesn't it? So anyway. I feel like that was a real ramble. Some things never change. Sitting on my laptop's not helpful either, is it? To empty all this craft stuff, which to be honest never gets used, so Lilia needs to sort it out of this little cupboard. And I've propped the door open because Mia's been really desperately trying to find a little dark spot to sleep. So, and I've put some old tea towels in there and she's delighted. <laughs> So it is now about quarter past 12. I've actually had a surprisingly 
productive morning. I'm surprised at how much I managed to get done. Um, I need to have some lunch. I'm going to go and investigate what's in the fridge. I'm, I'm sort of hungry and I need to eat, but I'm kind of a bit nervous about eating. In case it makes my tummy hurt. Just putting something away in the cupboard. Let's go and have a look in the fridge. Just been looking in the fridge for food to eat for lunch and there's some bits that need using up. I have some passata left from some cooking we did earlier in the week which is still okay. I have half a large sweet potato, I have half a butternut squash, I have some cooked butternut squash from where we had it with dinner, that was just leftovers that didn't get eaten. And I've got some bacon as well. I've also got some kale that could really be with using. It's fine, but it needs using up. So I am going to make an eclectic soup, not to eat for lunch, but to just make and then freeze. So I'm going to roast up the potato and the butternut squash that are raw. And I'm going to cook, um, also roast the kale until it's crispy. Or am I? So if I'm cooking and something only requires, say, half an onion, I cook the whole onion, but before it's just, you know, just, just when it's softening, I take half out, let it cool, and then add it to my stash of frozen onion. And I also cook up, if we ever get an Indian takeaway, and you get those little pots of onions with sort of bits of carrot and cucumber, I cook that up and add that to my stash of frozen onion as well. And then when I need it, I just cook it from frozen. So I've always got some onions on hand for things. It smells absolutely delicious and I've just been thinking actually that would be a good option for lunch wouldn't it because it's food but it's liquid so um, nice and easy on the tummy however because I'm in quite a bit of pain I don't feel like eating just yet but unless I can't take my antibiotics on an empty stomach so I am going to have a little bit of soup so I can take my antibiotics it's a beautiful autumn day out there today I should really go outside and film it but the uh, the chances of me leaving the house today are slim to none. Right, I'm gonna put a little bit of this. Oh, actually, I need to whiz up the soup so it's nice and smooth, and then put some in a bowl. I'm sure once I'm eating it, I'll feel fine. I am. It's not that I don't have an appetite. It's just that I feel wary about it because I don't want it to hurt my stomach. I'm sure we've all been there. I bet you didn't know I was a talented um, ceramics artist, did you? <laughs> Some of those pottery painting things I did with the kids. Survived well though. But I don't think I'm going to get a spot on a pottery throwing down. Well, I don't think I'm going to give Heinz a run for their money, but it's really nice. It's nice and warming and full of good things and tasty. And it's going to do what I need it to do. And that's provide a base for antibiotics. Phoebe's making herself some lunch. But you haven't actually had breakfast, have you? You weren't hungry, so it's kind of your breakfast. So she makes her own recipe of French toast. What's in your French toast mix there, Phoebe? Egg, milk, um, cinnamon and sugar. Egg, milk, cinnamon and sugar. You cook it in a bit of butter, don't you? She has her methods. Leave me alone. 
Phoebe's a very good cook actually and she's not afraid to sort of try things out and experiment and try a bit of baking and try a bit of cooking and this is how you learn isn't it? It's a Why don't you just tip it on? What, the cinnamon? No, the whole, the mixture and then like spread it about once you tip it. Because I used to do that and I used to go everywhere. Oh, okay. Like I say, she has her methods. Smells good. She also makes very good scrambled eggs. She was home from work and she's treated herself with her staff discount. So this is the this is the Waterstones. This is the Waterstones exclusive sprayed edged hardback edition of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Which is one of your favourite um, books. One of my favourite books, yeah. Do you want to put it down and show us what's special about it? Apart so from the fact that it's got an amazing holographic and then the edges. That's so cool. And the back. So this is all the covers exclusive to Waterstones? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you amazing. can only get it in Waterstones. And, and we've got the tan. The ribbon. And then... Are we going to need more bookshelves? Yeah, I need to sort through my bookshelves. <laughs> and then it's got a little letter oh, inside a from letter. Holly Jackson. Oh. I won't zoom in on it in case I'm not allowed for copyright and everything. That's but right. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. What a nice thing to treat yourself to with your first paycheck. Yeah, no, I jumped up and down when I saw it today. <laughs> you looking forward to pizza? Yeah. yeah. Hi, Mia. Yeah. Ev that was done. Everyone liked it when you spoke to them the other day. You're a bit quiet today though, aren't you? Unless you're meowing at the door. You're in a weird mood today, Mia, aren't you? You're just a little bit high maintenance today. Speaking of high maintenance, <laughs> uh, it's pizza night, everybody! Woohoo! Woo pizza and usually a movie, so we'll have to choose a nice autumn themed movie. <coughs> Lily and I were talking about this in the car on the way home, and she suggested either um, Practical Magic. Oh. Or Hocus Pocus. Well, my vote would be for Practical Magic because well, see, it's so aesthetic. My vote would be for Hocus Pocus because I don't particularly like Practical Magic. <gasps> it's alright, but it's not one of those films where I think, oh, I really want to watch that. Hocus Pocus is a uh, commendable seasonal film. It's excellent. Dan went to pick Lilia up from work and stopped at the old-fashioned sweet shop nearby and bought me my favourite. It's probably just going to look like like guinea pig kibble or something or guinea pig poo. But it is toffee crumble. Oh, I love toffee crumble and I just tasted a bit and it's a really good one. I might just taste one little small bit more. Thank you, Jam. You're very, You're very thoughtful. Right, I think I'm going to say goodnight now because we're going to get into the uh, evening of pizza making, movie watching and orange squash drinking for me. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for Saturday. Who knows what all... Oh, and by the way, I'm just saying to Dan, I've been in a lot of pain today. A lot. But I spent all afternoon just sitting on the sofa. Which is unheard of. Which is unheard of. Um, and I do feel quite a lot better, so I think I'm hoping that that is the result of the antibiotics kicking in. Or it could just be resting, I don't know, but whatever it is, I'm going to keep doing it. Mostly. See you tomorrow.